The Reverend Alessandro Valignano was a commanding presence in most any room he ever walked into. While I'm not one to buy into great man theories of history, this guy was impressive. He obtained a doctorate in law aged 19, and after some unspecified trouble with the law, for which he was jailed for a year, he pivoted to theology. By his mid-thirties, a Napolitano priest was sent out to supervise the conversion of non-Christian souls from Goa in India to Japan. One reason he was allegedly so much larger than life was that he was literally larger than life. Valignano towered above everyone around him, well, most people of his time anyway. So imagine a scene in 1581. Alessandro Valignano is in Kyoto, Japan, making his way through a busy street to their lodgings. The locals, not terribly used to seeing foreigners of any kind, crane their necks up in awe of the missionary. While their eye might first be drawn to the Jesuit missionary, it's the presence of his valet, or technically his bodyguard, who transfixes them. Bigger again, powerfully built, his skin as dark as charcoal, the young man caught the imagination of onlookers, and scuttlebutt soon spread throughout Kyoto of this living wonder. Soon locals clamoured to their lodgings to catch a glimpse of the man. Some even attempted to break down the front door. The impressively built, dark-skinned man was a former African slave who was believed to have been transported to India 